Hi friends, it's Adrian, the teacher at Framingham High School, Blocks at Framingham High School. Today I'm going to read a book called Children Make Terrible Pets, and it's a really silly book. The author, the person that wrote this story, his name is Peter Brown, and he also illustrated the pictures. Get ready, this is silly. Children Make Terrible Pets. One morning, Lucy was practicing her twirls when she noticed she was being watched. Hey, hello, hello, who's there? I can smell you behind those bushes. So just come out. Squeak. Squeak, that's silly. When her secret admirer scurried into the open, Lucy could not believe her eyes. Oh my gosh, you're the cutest critter in the whole forest. Critter is another word for little animal. Squeak! So Lucy brought the critter home to show her mom. Mom! Look what I found outside! I call him Squeaker because he makes funny sounds. Squeak! See? Isn't he the cutest? Can I keep him, please? Do you think that Lucy's mom will let her keep Squeak? Squeaker? Lucille Beatrice Bear, don't you know that children make terrible pets? Ah, oh, come on, Mom. Look how sweet he is. You won't be any trouble, will you, boy? Squeak. Oh, all right. You can keep him on one condition. Squeaker is your responsibility. I will not take care of him for you. Oh, thanks, Mom. Squeaker's going to be the best pet ever. You'll see. Do you think Squeaker's going to be the best pet ever? Let's see what happens. A little windy out here, guys. Not easy to turn the pages. Lucy and Squeaker were inseparable. That means they were never apart. They played together. They ate together. They napped together. I don't think anybody I know would like to nap on a tree, but I guess Squeaker did. Lucy and Squeaker did everything together, but it wasn't all fun and games. He was impossible to potty train. Squeak. Do you think Squeaker wants to use a litter box? I don't think so. Squeak. He ruined the furniture. Uh-oh. He caused problems wherever he went. We don't throw food at tea parties. Squeaker is throwing food at the tea party. Squeak! Squeaker is swinging on the chandelier, which is a big up, a lamp that's up high. And when Lucy thought things couldn't get any worse, uh-oh, look, he's having a meltdown. Squeaker disappeared. Squeaker. Here, Squeaker. Lucy checked the usual hiding spots, but her pet was nowhere to be found. Come here, boy. Squeaker. She even looked in the dishwasher. Lucy had almost given up hope when her sensitive nose caught a whiff of her squeaker. I wonder where squeaker is. Let's find out. 
Lucy followed Squeaker's scent that this way and that across the entire forest until finally she found Squeaker. But something had changed. Squeaker didn't seem like a pet anymore. Lucy knew what she had to do. Squeak, 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 squeak. Goodbye, Squeaker. Lucy had, a, Lucy had a lot to think about on her walk home. I'm really gonna miss that little fella. Squeaker belongs with his family. I guess some critters aren't meant to be pets. Maybe it's all for the best. By the end of the day, Lucy had learned one very valuable lesson. You were right, Mom. Children do make terrible pets. They really are the worst. And Lucy found an elephant. Do you think Lucy is going to bring the elephant home and ask her mom if the elephant can be her pet? What do you think? Let's think about it, friends. I don't know. Bye, guys.